Welcome back heroes, I'm Hercules0070 and today we're playing Minecraft on the Xbox One. Now this video was designed with particular people in mind. First one being someone who has not played this game before and they want to know what to expect their first time playing. Or you have played this game before and you want to see what my opinion is the first time you play. Now if you have a different way of doing something than me, post in the comments below you might end up being in my next video. If you have any questions, post your comments in the same location. You gotta hit that thumbs up, and you will subscribe. Congratulations! You're a hero! Now to create your own world, you're gonna go to Play Game, and then you're gonna hit Create New World. Now in here you can name it whatever you want. And then basically you have different game modes. Now this is going to be a survival how-to, but you can go into creative, and creative makes it to where you have no limitations, you can fly, you have unlimited items, things of that type. Um, we're going to stick to survival, and difficulty basically, peaceful has no mobs. You'll learn what mobs are later, but basically they're not good. Um, easy makes it to where they spawn, the mobs spawn, and then normal changes the difficulties of when they spawn, what they can do, how many of them, um, I usually play more on a easy or normal. Um, hard is only when I'm playing with other people because it makes it a little more interesting. Now texture packs, you could buy new texture packs. Basically, they make it to where all the blocks look different. I always stick to vanilla. I recommend playing with other people. This game can get really boring if you play on your own too much. Now, more options. Now, in more options, just go through and read all of these. Um, the only one I'm going to explain is seeds. Basically, seeds, you can go on YouTube and people will post seeds for worlds. Um, it's just a, a sequence of letters or numbers or names that give you a generated world. If it's not there, then it just gives you a random generated world that you don't know what's going to be. Um, everything else, if you go down, you see on the right-hand side, it tells you what it does. So I'm not going to go through all of them because it could take a while and that could be boring. Now let's create our new world. All right, so there's the chest that you get. This is the spawn chest. You can select that in the options. Um, it gives you a little bit of a couple things to help you, but we're not going to use this. I want to do it all from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to explain to you is the map. You always start with a map in your inventory. You take, you click A, and you grab it down here. Put that in here, and you use the bumpers to move left and right on these little squares below. Now, if you see those little hearts there on the bottom, the hearts are your health. And those little weird meat-shaped things, I guess they're supposed to be, that is your hunger. Um, you want to make sure that you eat things. The more you run and jump, the faster your hunger moves down, and then your health will not generate unless your hunger is at a certain percentage. So basically, with your map, you only can see where you've been. So as you move around, you see that it starts opening up your map. Now, the biggest thing is that if you're not near trees, you need to get near them. So just start walking in any direction and make sure that you eventually get to trees. I know sometimes in the deserts, they can be kind of big and random worlds. But wood is the number one thing you're going to need. So the first thing you jump in the world is you need to jump, grab a, grab a tree, and start breaking it. So once you get some wood, you go to an area that you want to place a new item that is pretty awesome and important. So you're going to... Why did I just throw that? So you're going to press X. When you press X, it opens up a little thing where you can build stuff. Now, you don't have a lot of options in this. You're going to have to make a crafting table. Now basically what you do is you go over here to the wood and it, see how it has the oak wood planks? It tells you that one oak wood block makes the oak wood plank. So you click A, and it puts it in your inventory, as you see in the bottom right hand side. So every time you click A, you get four. So now we go over by pressing the D-pad to the crafting table, and now it's in our inventory. Place the crafting table, and look at that. We just got an achievement. Magic! So we get over this crafting table, and now we have a whole lot of options on how to build stuff. Now, it shows you things even though you don't have the inventory to make it, but it shows you what you need, which is awesome and can help a lot. So the first thing we're going to do, sticks. 
remember wood is important so let's make those sticks now let's go over to the tools and we're going to make a pickaxe look at that another achievement now pickaxes are made to mind stone or things of that type you're going to want to go over and make a regular wooden axe Red and regular wooden axes are for trees. You're going to want to cut down more wood. Do it, Jesus! Now, once you've collected up a certain amount of wood, you go through and you're going to turn them all into planks because that's when you can actually make stuff with it. Plus, you get a lot more inventory. You're going to want to make a place to live because when it becomes nighttime, the mobs come and get you. So, we need to make a little house. Now don't judge me, this is just a makeshift house to show that you need a place to live. Alright, so now we need to make a door. Now we have a door, but now we need light. Now to do that, we're going to have to cook wood. So we're going to go to that pickaxe we made, and we're going to find some cobblestone. Now we have a lot of dirt around here. Usually if you mine down far enough, you hit cobblestone. So since I don't see any exposed cobblestone around here, we're going to go over here and we're going to make a shovel. And then we're going to mine down. Now you want to remember when you mine down, you want to make sure you have steps. You can only jump one block in height. So you need to make sure that it's one block in jumping height. Until you see cobblestone. Now the cobblestone you want to use to pickaxe with. I think that's enough. So now we come over here and we're going to make a furnace. We're going to place the furnace down. Look at that, another achievement. And you're going to put wood in it. <gasps> that's awesome, right? Now we need to cut down. Now this is where you need the actual wood blocks. Because the wood blocks are what's going to be your fuel, or yeah, your ingredients. Alright, so now the wood planks are burning those uh, wood blocks, and they're going to come out over here as coal. Because we need to put light up, we need torches, because if we don't have torches, we don't have light. And light is what keeps mobs away. Mr. Cow, get off my house. All right. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to make some sticks. Oh, we have some sticks. So, yeah, we have some sticks. So we're going to bump her over until we go to see this torch over here, and we're going to click and make some torches. We got 12 torches. That's awesome. All right, so first we're going to put some inside the house. Make it all nice and bright. And then we're going to put some outside. Keep the area lit up. Now what's coming next, animal lovers, you may not like this, but we got to do it to survive. Remember, it is survival. So we're going to come over here. We, uh, we do need to make some more sticks, right? No. No, all right, we're good. We need some more wood. Now, you see these little things called oak saplings. Basically what they are, are trees. You plant them down in the ground, and they'll grow to become trees. Ooh, apples. We can eat those. That way we never go hungry. Let's put them in the chest for later.
looks like we can make a cobblestone store. So basically, you can use wood or cobblestone to make tools. Look, we made another achievement. So now we have a cobblestone stored sword. So ward. All right. We're going to use this to kill that sheep we saw earlier. Hey, sheepy. Now he drops wool. Now we use wool to make a bed. So we have one wool. We're going to need a bit more than that. Now, we could always kill the, the cows, too, because they give us meat. And we could use that to help survive. Same with pigs. Oh, now we have a spider. A spider is one of the mobs that will attack us and kill us. So you want to use that sword to protect yourself. Remember, if you get lost, you have that map. Look, we got another achievement. Monster Hunter. Awesome. And let's make a bed. So as you see, we have three wool and three wooden planks to make our bed. Now in most games, the bed is how you save, but this is not how you save. It makes it to where it skips to daytime. And when you die, you'll spawn back wherever the bed is placed. You want to make sure the block in front of it is not blocked, because then you're not able to spawn. So wherever you place it, the block in front of it needs to be open. So make sure your door is closed and there's no mobs this out, outside or around you. By placing those lights, you can prevent that from happening, because if a mob is too close to your bed, it will not let you sleep. Bedtime. Alright, so now it's daytime. Some mobs will still be out there, so you need to be careful. Some mobs burn in the sunlight, some mobs don't. So I think that's going to conclude our day one of survival on Minecraft Xbox One for beginners. I really appreciate you coming and checking us out. Hey, if you have an idea for another YouTube video, go ahead and post in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We couldn't do it without viewers like you. Thank you.